hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today I'm going to be talking about um, things that you need to do or you can do to start off your journey so I'll share with you all about my journey but now you know what let's start off someone else's journey or let's continue someone else's journey so we can keep it moving <laughs> okay uh, that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe you know do your thing yes yes so starting off your weight loss journey i feel like there are a few fundamental things that actually need to be done for you to start first thing i would say is that there's never a right time to start there's never a wrong time to start so ideally we just need to get our minds right and just do it yeah okay me saying again that your mind right is like absolutely vital i believe that every weight loss journey is more of a mental task than it is a physical task because a lot of the times once you get up and start doing something you get into it like you just go but a lot of the time it's getting up to actually doing it that's the key thing um i feel like there has to definitely be some mental changes in first of all understanding why you're doing what you're doing and what you want to achieve through what you're doing and how long is going to take you to get there so why do you want to start your weight loss so for a lot of people it's usually down to self-image you want to look better you want to some people is a case of they want to wear certain things that they've never been able to wear someone like me according to a lot of people that's shameless i used to wear whatever i wanted to wear with whatever size i wore <laughs> Well, we'll get to that we'll get to that um and it's a case of i believe that the most important thing in anyone's weight loss journey is doing stuff for you it has to be all about you because if you're doing it for somebody else when you don't get that person's approval when you don't get that person's affection because a lot of the times us ladies are doing it for guys when we don't get that person's approval that person's affection we usually deteriorate and go back to where we're starting from so it has to be all about you you are your project you are literally everything that matters in this journey um so getting that right and you know what me saying that i ha actually have to touch on the fact that you have to love yourself regardless because literally you starting this journey is a reflection of taking time out for yourself taking time out to exercise taking time out to do whatever and i don't believe that there's any ideal size it's always an individual thing what you want to achieve when i started off i actually didn't have a goal in mind all i knew was the fact that i didn't want to have diabetes period and as i went along i said okay you know what actually i've lost this i could lose some more i could lose some more i could lose some more and it's been an enjoyable process because there's no pressure as to oh i need to do it today 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 there's no it's just a case of i'm enjoying the process and i'm learning to love myself through the process that was something that i did not get right the first time around trust me i hated myself through the process because all i was fixated on was this perfect image of a slim waist nice thick thighs and no extra fat and any of any part of my body and because i was so fixated on that when i was using weight i was actually becoming more self-conscious that sounds so weird but that was the reality for me and i'm certain that somebody may be feeling like that on their journey or someone who is about to start their journey you have to love you because literally you are beautifully and wonderfully made and for me i believe that the key thing as to my personal weight loss journey and i think a lot of you may be able to identify with this is about doing what's right for you your health um so okay so we've now figured out we're gonna get our minds right we're gonna do this next thing is the fact that you're not going to get this overnight i have lost now 100 pounds and that happened from last year september so 
Jesus Christ, my mouth is bad now in my head. But like about like literally just um, about 10 months to lose 100 um, pounds. And I know that there are loads of things that are advertised. You can lose 30 pounds in one week and all that kind of crazy stuff. The reality of it is the fact that some of these things actually do work. But one of the things that I've changed my mindset about is I don't just want something that works now. I want something that's sustainable. And I think that that's the key thing. I want to be able to look at myself down the line and maintain what I started. And that's not going to happen with a lot of the fad diets that we do. Those are temporary fixes. So if you want a temporary fix, go ahead and do that but if you actually want a lasting thing you have to cultivate a new lifestyle and that's the reason why that mindset shift clearly has a key role in that another thing is the fact that everywhere you turn there is a new tea there's a new tablet that gives you the miracle working stuff the reality of it is i have bought a lot of those guilty <laughs> guilty <laughs> i bought a lot of those and you know what a lot of them don't work that's the truth a lot of them is just a mental thing you feel like ah yes i can see the difference because i've been doing this but a lot of, and <laughs> the one that do work uh, what i noticed was the fact that you have to actually keep taking them so the time once you stop you usually would gain more weight than you actually started off with so is it really worth it to me no watch what you're putting in your mouth do some exercise and you will be fine because as they say literally 80 percent of your weight loss is down to your nutrition so getting that fixed is the key thing for someone like me getting that fixed made me ensure that i did meal preps because <clears throat> let me tell you something i used to say that i hate cooking for myself and i realized that that was also me not loving myself enough to find myself in putting off to make a meal for because if anyone else was coming around i was more than happy to do starters main desserts all that kind of nonsense but i wouldn't do that for myself so was i essentially saying to myself that it wasn't worth it that had to change period and i knew that because of how busy I, my schedule generally is doing meal preps was absolutely key to me i know some people like to eat fresh food every day i know what power to you guys man you guys are the real mvps but for someone like me I do my meal prep actually you know what i'm going to insert a picture of an example of my meal prep when i initially started um and this meant that there was consistency with what i was eating how i was eating it when i was eating it so now literally my body literally asks for food at certain periods because that's when i generally eat habits mindset <laughs> um in addition to that so definitely your meal has to be on lock and i started the exercises like i said to you i knew that i needed to invest in myself and again part of self-love if i can buy the wigs i can buy the clothes i can definitely do something to look after the inside of me <laughs> and literally a lot of people are like oh that's a big financial commitment because it really is if you have to budget it in because um, personal trainers can range from being about 40 30 pounds an hour to about 60 70 pounds an hour so again you have to work out what's best for you and i understand that not everyone is going to be able to put that budget into their um or add that into their budget but you know what there are some amazing amazing youtube videos and literally i did one last night whoa my thigh had an aching but it was good so literally i feel like you need to just like get on it because one of the things that I used to say back in the day, well, I literally, the whole of 2019, uh, right up to September, I used to be like, I'll start, I'll start. I used to even write it as prayer point, I said, I want to lose weight. But I never used to do anything. So literally, you just have to do it. Just do it. The Nike tick. Just do it. So literally, what you need to do is get up and go. Get up, clear your cupboards of all the snacks. Because if you're like me, if those snacks are available and I'm feeling a little bit low, I will turn to them. So I remove everything that can literally make me slip up. But you know what? Even if you slip up, don't say you're going to start again the following week. Start again that week. Start again the next day. Start again the next meal. Fix it right there and then. Exercise. And you know what? The exercising, essentially, as I said, is about 20% of your weight loss. But it helps with the sculpting. I am literally, I can definitely say that because now that I've worked with a trainer and when I worked before, even when I hadn't lost 
as much i could see the difference in my body so therefore exercise is bae and like i said in my last video if you are struggling get yourself a skipping rope set yourself a challenge five minutes skipping every day build it up momentum momentum get the whole idea is that you want to build resistance you know what i'm gonna insert a video as well of me working up initially and now and it's not like i'm oh my god i'm at the peak of my fitness but the reality of it is that you can see progress and progress is all we're looking for on this journey because as you start you're going to get to your um, expected goal and all it takes is consistency all it takes is determination and you know what if i can do it so could you have a great day don't forget to like comment subscribe <laughs> Take care guys.